Hello, my name is Alice Vickery and I am entering, entering the Young City Laureate competition. Uh, this is my piece of extra creative writing to go in alongside the piece about Plymouth. This is a short story aimed at young children called Mother Nature and I hope you like it. Alex lived alone in the darkness with only space to keep him company. He had no mother and no father yet he did possess an extraordinary mind. Though it would seem to always be night, Alex knew when to sleep. It was on that night, the type that has light without any stars, that Alex began to dream. He dreamed of green and felt dappled, verdant shadows. Grass and leaves, stems and stalks, all the small things that gently covered him with a blanket of downy happiness. He dreamed of blue and fell further into his slumber, as only such a calm can make you. He felt rivers pushing him onto his side and the sky laying him down again, with much less than a touch, but somehow firmer than any gale. He dreamed of red with a vivid ferocity and felt crackling on his tongue, sparks colouring his eyes and his heart, burning up into crimson and scarlet and setting his soul on fire, gasping. Alex opened his eyes. Before him were his rivers and his sky, coloured with more shades than the kaleidoscope. His grass and leaves sprinkled their delight onto his feet and over his head, tinkling in the wind. And though there was no fire, he could feel it in the breeze, in his fingertips and thrashing up and down his veins, giving him life and a breath and a voice. Things he could never do before. These ideas were precious in their clarity and became the base of his world. They became the elements, land, water, air and fire. A figure rose in the back of his mind and, used to being without sight, her presence was more calming than any reality. Moving through his surroundings was a sound, alive with vibrations that cascaded down onto his raw being, serenading him with a building call of Mother Nature. Mother Nature. Mother? Alex fumbled with the catch in his voice, trying to be heard by this tremor of words. And still the sound grew and tightened into a whirlwind of beating wings until it clasped his body in an embrace sweeter than any colour he could have beckoned to his mind. They exploded at his touch. He was introduced to love, his mind coloured red with inviting rose and gold, saved and ready to be etched onto his memories. Suddenly hate rushed in, numbing his senses and smothering him with blacks and dragging greys. Then a sharp blindness rang through the moment. Something purer and simpler than anything he'd yet witnessed. White filled his soul and surrounded him, cradling him with indescribable beauty. It swept through him and delivered him to earth and our lives, to be loved by his very own mother and father and grow up surrounded by others like him. Later he fell in love and married, but he had forgotten his first encounter with the earth and all her passion. Yet every night, Alex told his children that they had two mothers, their own and someone called Mother Nature who, although looking after everyone, would care for them for longer than eternity. And so, he said, we must look after her with much less than a touch, but a strength of the sincerest game. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh. <laughs>